ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Let's talk about the whole DNC. Um, the DNC is definitely trying to like rally up the troops. As we know that the RNC, they've had Amber Rose and Kid Rock and Hawk Hogan. And so the DNC is trying to be super lit. They had Meg Thee Stallion twerking. They had Quavo talking. They had Little John come out, and I thought that was lit. I really enjoyed Little John coming out and performing uh, Turn Down for What? But they also had the Obamas come out and speak, and a lot of people loved it because we haven't seen the Obamas publicly in a while. And they are supporting Kamala Harris. So we're going to go ahead and check that out really quick here. Give me just a second. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to watch um, Michelle Obama come out and talk. And also bring out, and also bring out Barack Obama as well. Please welcome America's 44th president and the love of my life, Barack Obama. You can tell the Obamas are severely missed. And I don't care if you feel like he was a good president or a bad president. When I see the Obamas, it reminds me of happier times. This was before C-19, you know, the economy crashing. I don't know. They just remind me of, like, happy times, you know. So it's just really dope to see her bring out her husband. Um, I got another, I got a few more clips of her talking here. So I'm going to play this one over here. To do something. This is our time to stand up for what we know in our hearts is right. To stand up, not just for our basic freedoms, but for decency and humanity, for basic respect, dignity, and empathy, for the values at the very foundation of this democracy. And delivering a takedown of former President Trump referencing the racist conspiracy theory Mr. Trump pushed for years against her husband. Donald Trump did everything in his power to try to make people fear us. See, his, his limited, narrow view of the world made him feel threatened by the existence of two hardworking, highly educated, successful people who happen to be black. Who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? Mr. Obama following his wife. I am the only person stupid enough to speak after Michelle Obama. <laughs> Anointing Harris as a successor to the movement he began in 2008. This convention has always been pretty good to kids with funny names who believe in a country where anything is possible. While delivering his own attacks against Mr. Trump. The people who will decide this election are asking a very simple question. Who will fight for me? Who's thinking about my future? Donald Trump is not losing sleep over that question. 
Here's a 78-year-old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. There's the childish nicknames, the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. The Obama speeches following a heartfelt address from the vice president's husband, Doug Emhoff, discussing what he called their blended family and describing his first awkward phone call to Harris. I got Kamala's voicemail and I just started rambling. Hey, it's Doug. Earlier Democrats putting a new spin on the roll call vote, featuring a DJ and a surprise performance by rapper Lil Jon. The vice president speaking from a packed Milwaukee arena, the same venue where Donald Trump recently accepted the Republican nomination. We are so honored to be your nominees. Mr. Trump campaigning in Michigan, leveling some attacks against Harris. She is so far left that nobody can even imagine. Back in Chicago, the Democratic Party's stars were preparing their rousing endorsement of Vice President Harris. Also overnight, another round of protests leading. All right, so you guys just saw that. Um, so the DNC is definitely getting some life <laughs> breathed back into them, you know, with Tim Waltz being, um, you know, nominated for a potential vice presidency. And then the Obama speaking, little John. So they're bringing out all the footsteps. Uh, all, they're like, they're not stopping at all. Now Amber Rose is speaking out about the whole DNC situation. So we're going to see what good old Amber Rose has to say. You know, she always got something to say, child. Yeah. So hold on. Let me, let me post this screen really quick here. All right. Let's see what Amber Rose has to say about the DNC. I'm not going to lie. The DNC is so lit. Like, that shit was super popping last night. Like, DJ Cassidy killed it. Shout out to DJ Cassidy. Shout out to Lil John. Like, they had Lil John there. This is fire. Um, but I was thinking Kamala should have a new slogan. It should be let's manipulate Americans into thinking that everything is all good and everything is just funny and laughs and jokes and like just cool ass music. And, you know, while war veterans are broke and there's so many homeless people in America and people can't afford groceries or rent or to even go out with their friends anymore and have a good time. Um, illegal migrants are getting so much money in food stamps, taking over our hotels and schools. Um, people are dying in war. You know, that should be her new slogan. I, I think she should put that on a hat. Yeah, I think I think she should put that on a hat. Yo, I'm not going to lie. The DNC is so f All right. So y'all just heard what Amber Rose had to say. She's not here for it. She's saying, okay, Miss Border Czar, you ate. Yes, queen. Yes. <laughs> so Amber is still being messy. But, you know, again, she's MAGA. You know what I mean? That is, she's Team Trump. Um, that's who she's rolling with. She's down with the red team. And it is what it is. Like I always tell you guys, people have the right to... You know what I'm saying? Being on, be on whatever side of the political spectrum that they choose to be on. So I'm not mad at her. That is her opinion. But I will say that um, the Democrats are definitely, I think they breathe more life into the campaign as of late. Um, they've even piqued my interest as of late because I think like the last few go arounds, I just could have cared less. You know what I mean? So it seems like they're definitely, you know, um, they're pulling all the stops. And the fact that the Obamas came out, that definitely breathed more life into this whole campaign situation as well. But it's going to be interesting to see what goes down in November. That's where it really matters. You know, all the yelling back and forth and arguing in the shade room comments means nothing. What's really going to matter is what happens during the poll. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.